welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're going to take a look at this cute style by Belle Tress. This is Vienna Roast and the color on this one is Cappuccino with Cherry. More on her in just a minute. Let's take a look at this cute Vienna Roast. So Vienna Roast is another wig that I have never tried by Belle Tress, and she's a very, very cute style. I'm happy to be able to show her to you today. And I don't think I've ever tried Cappuccino with Cherry either. Very, very pretty, dark brunette. So um, very, very pretty color. Okay, I will do a spin so you can see her all the way around, and then we can get into all of her specs. So here she is from the front. Here's my left. The back, my right, and back to the front. So as you can see, she's just a really, really cute, wavy, not curly, almost curly, but more of a, just a tighter wave, um, you know, little bob. So a uh, very, very cute, cute style. So, okay, so she is a lace front with a left mono part. So I will show you the lace front. Now, I feel like the knots on this lace front are tiny. It is a darker color, so of course they're gonna be a little more visible to the eye, but I do like the fact that the fibers are just tiny. These are, of course, the Beltress Heat Friendly fi Synthetic Fibers. So here is her part. Parts are always hard to see on these really, really dark colors, and these Beltress parts are kind of tight, so I got it as opened up as I could. Then I've got good coverage around the face here. This is an average size cap and it's fitting my petite head quite well. So it's fitting fine ear to ear. The cap does not feel like it's too big, you know, where it's impinging on the back of my ears. There is room for head to nape. I did have to bring in the adjusters for the circumference for my 21 inch circumference. So, so really, really cute. Okay, so let's go over her measurements. Here in the front, she has a 10 inch layer. She has a 10 inch layer on the sides. In the back, she is 12 inches. And then her nape is a five inch nape. Really cute. She's got a lot of bounce, as you can see, a lot of spring. <laughs> so very, very cute little style. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, we can take a look at her part. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to show you the part off my head because I can stretch the hair out of the way. Okay, so we will look at her interior cap here. All right, so you can see she has that left mono part, goes back to the crown, which is nice. She just has closed lace up here. She has layering and these waves that give her the volume, but she's not getting volume from Permatease. So she's got temple to temple lace front. She has the soft felt ear tabs, and as you can see, there's a lot of hair sewn on the inside of that ear tab as well as the outside, of course. So that's what gives you that nice appearance up against your face. And then they're soft and they're felt, and then they have a nice piece of metal in there. Open wefted all through the cap. Pull adjusters. She does not have an extended nape, but she's only got a five inch nape and it's pretty curly and wavy under there. So I don't really think she needs one. She's not one that you're gonna wear in an updo or anything like that. So she's got plenty of stretch in the cap and also in the circumference. So we'll talk about her color in just a minute, but I wanted to kind of show you the wave pattern on this. So these uh, little waves that are underneath are curlier and that's what's you know pushing the style out. And then the ones over the top are a little looser. So you've got those little curls underneath there and that's what's pushing that style out and giving it the volume. See all those? So anyway, just wanted to show that to y'all. Okay, so this color is the Cappuccino with Cherry. This is a really, really pretty color if you like a dark color. So Cappuccino with Cherry is described as a midnight brown base, so let's just Think of that as dark, right? Dark as midnight um, with medium auburn highlights. So the highlights are interesting because 
they just pop every once in a while and I think they'll show more when we go outside. But like right now on camera, from what I can see in the camera, I'm not seeing them. I could see one in the back back here. Maybe that'll show for you all. I'm mostly seeing that midnight brown, that dark brown. But every once in a while, there's a cherry in there, so. But I feel like they're kind of few and far between. I, I just don't see very many of the highlights. Okay, so here we are in just the lighting, just in the room. I'm trying to like move my head around and catch those highlights but because I'm not seeing them with my eye except like I said for this one in the back. So I think that cherry must be really really subtle. I can kind of see it. I think I'm seeing it. glasses and all that kind of stuff. So this style, I don't think is going to be very ear tuckable. We can attempt it, but I can just tell these waves are not going to go behind your ears very easily, but I will tuck it. It's easier to tuck on the, on the lighter side. You know, this is the heavier side of the part. Um, you can get it behind your ears, I guess. And it's not pushing my ears down. So I just didn't think I'd ever get those waves behind my ears. So, okay. So we can look at glasses. Glasses are super, you know, still super easy. She's got super thin, you know, ear tabs, easy to deal with. You can put them up on your head. Because again, there's no permatease. Permatease tends to be the thing that I see in wigs that makes the glasses like poof out, you know? But if you don't want to mess with pushing all those waves behind your ears, just stick your glasses on your head. It's way easier anyway, so. Okay, so we can put a little headband on her. So she looks cute with the headband. I did take a picture of her like this for my Instagram. She looks cute with the headband just stuck in her. Or you could do a scarf or whatever. But we will tuck her and pull the hair out of the way with the headband too. So since that front layer is that 10 inch, yeah, that 10 inch front layer, you can pull all the hair back away from your face. You can even pull that layer down and get, you know, that forehead coverage too. But if you want to, you can pull out a little bit of that layer around the face too, and it looks cute. And then with these waves, you can also, <clears throat> excuse me, fluff up back behind the headband. She will go big if you want her to go big. These curls and waves in this style will allow that for sure, so. Okay, so since she has this lace front, you know, you could pull your uh, front back and use a little clip there in the front and that would look cute. That would also get the hair away from your face, you know, for working or whatever kind of task you're, you know, working on if you just don't want any kind of a flop down in your face. So she has the length to be pulled back into a clip, but you're going to have to work with these layers and you're going to have to get them, you know, smashed down nice and flat and then you can get her into a clip back there. Or if you want to, you could just clip her just right behind the ear and that might be an easier way, you know, to deal with her waves. So she doesn't, she has a five inch nape, but she 
not really, no, she doesn't have the length for an updo or anything like that. I think she's gonna be cuter just doing her half up, half down if you wanna do some kind of styling with her. So, or you know, you could put a cute braid in her or do something like that. So I think her waves are super cute. Her volume is really, really cute. She's really, really a fun little style. So I'm excited that I got to try her. So thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be a link to purchase this wig down below this video in the information section. I thank you so much for watching my videos. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>